Hello and welcome to the PumpTex tutorial on removing your pump and cam from the motor. The tools we are going to be using today include a wrench, a hammer, a small screwdriver, a 3 16 hex wrench, a drill with that 3 16 bit size, grease, a towel, and of course our pump cam and motor. Before we take off the bolts, we just want to make sure that our water or our source, our fluid source is is turned off and you also want the motor to be disconnected from power so there's no risk of it being turned on while you are working with it. Let's get started. We're going to take our drill and unscrew all four bolts of the pump to the motor. That is the four on the manifold here. We will set the bolts and washers aside along with our pump. Now we will work at getting at the cam. For the 100 series cams um, you will need that small screwdriver and the hammer and you will want to set the screwdriver in the hole on the cam as shown here and hold it comfortably but you want to hit it in a way that it is tangent with the spinning of the cam also counterclockwise so this cam will spin off it may take a couple of hits but it should come loose and you should just be able to spin it off with your fingers after that for the 200 and 300 series you will need a 3 16th hex wrench so that hex wrench that i initially showed and a hammer so I like to use a wrench, but if you have a hammer next to you, that's fine too. You want to put the wrench so it sticks out of the hole long ways, and you can hit it at the furthest point and dislodge the cam from the shaft. After a couple of hits, it should be free to spin, and you should be able to spin it off with your fingers. We will grab our new cam, and the orientation is important. If you look on one side of the cam, you will see a slight chamfer uh, to where the threads start. And this is the side that you want to go into the motor shaft first. So typically the numbers and the dots will be on the other side, the opposite side from that chamfered hole. There's no need to use that hex wrench or use that screwdriver to hit the cam harder into the sh shaft. You should just be able to spin it finger tight, but the positioning of when you finish is important. You want the dot to be at the 12 o'clock position if it were a clock. That way when you try to put your plunger and pump back on to the cam and bolt it in, It'll sit nicely and it will start without a problem. If you replace the parts in your pump, you'd probably ordered kit A or kit B uh, to replace your valves, seals, and O-rings and whatnot. There should have been grease with those kits, and we'll use that grease now for the plunger. You want to put a generous amount across the plunger and across the, the walls that run perpendicular with the slot. The last thing to do is position the plunger back on the cam so that you can get the bolts on that secure the pump to the motor. You'll want to do almost a star pattern, so one corner across, to the side, across, and then just do that same pattern to tighten. This has been Pump Tech's tutorial on how to take off a pump and cam and get them back on that motor. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions, please see our other videos, visit our website, or give us a call. Thank you and have a great day.